Hey, and welcome along to You Are Church Manual 3. Woo! I tell you what, this is all about being ambassadors, which sometimes means that you need to get out of your comfort zones and do the unexpected. And we're doing this all for what reason? Because we're part of God's family. We want to actually take the message to the world. And sometimes that means getting uncomfortable and being prepared to do the unexpected. You know, Nick, sometimes, yeah, God asks us to do things which may make us feel a little uncomfortable. Like um, climbing out of the back of a Yeah, beach. not so much climbing out of the back of a car, but you <laughs> right. know, it could be something else. But whatever it is, yeah. he's going to give us what we need to be able to handle that. Absolutely. And what we need to do, which is really important, is to get out there. Maybe it's being get out into the wilderness, but we need to get out there to tell the world about It's about willingness. Jesus willingness Christ. to do that. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Manual 3, Week 1, being an ambassador for Christ. That's it. Well, I think the key verse here is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, that we are all called to be ambassadors for Jesus Christ. What does that mean exactly? Well, an ambassador is someone who is a representative of a foreign nation. Yeah. Now, as a representative of a foreign nation, what that translates into is that you are there to represent their government. You're there to represent the people who might be in that foreign land. Mm -hmm. You're there to do a whole lot of work representing, in our, our case, the sure. kingdom of God. So literally, Nick, you're an ambassador. Mm -hmm. Right. For the king of kings. Wow. No pressure. No pressure at all. Yeah. He gives you all that you need. Ephesians 1.3 gives you every spiritual blessing in Christ so mm -hmm. that you're thoroughly equipped for all the work that you're to do. But that's what you well, are. Well, that's cool. I was going to ask, what qualifies me to be an ambassador? But there you nothing. go. Christ has given us everything, all the tools that we need. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing that, that qualifies awesome. you so for all that. all we need is our backpack. Yeah, and, and we're good to go. And we just head out. Yep. That is awesome. Um, in page six, Ooh, of, page six. Uh, yeah, of, yeah. of this week's um, discussion. I like these these little questions. What are the things in my life that prevent people from seeing Jesus? And how can I address yeah, so, these issues? So what, what that, what's that getting to? It's getting, okay, are there things that, like inconsistencies? Maybe you're being a little bit hypocritical. Maybe in your work mm. practice you're a bit of a mongrel, but at church yeah. you're Mr. Nice Guy. And at home maybe you're, you know, you're not so nice around the family. So it's about bringing all of that into alignment so that there's nothing that gets in the road of you being an effective witness for Christ. So you're saying that it'd be difficult for me just to start witnessing if I don't have my stuff sorted out in the background? Yeah. It can mean that, hey, because it yeah. can be damaging to the word. Well, gee, yeah, absolutely. I think you're right. Yeah. It, it's not impossible, but it's yeah. difficult. Yeah. So that'll be the first work. And that's what week one talks about. Let's get these things sorted. Um, come back to Christ as a family if that's what it takes um, so that we can represent the kingdom well. That's it. Okay, yep. cool. So um, page, if we turn to page eight, there's a really important question here that we need to discuss. Um, what can you add or remove, remove from your life to make you a better um, to make you a better ambassador for Christ. That's it. Hmm. And like cool story. Mm -hmm. The ambassador for the Philippines in New Zealand yep. is a Seventh day Adventist. No way. And you know what he added to his embassy? No. A satellite dish and a TV screen in the waiting area. So he just decided there were some things he needed to add and there were some things he needed to take away. He took away wow. the other distractions, hmm. the things that were getting in the road of him being an effective ambassador because he was doing an ambassador for two things. One, for the Philippines and two for the kingdom. Excellent. And he was doing a great job of that. All right, so what are some of the things that you guys need to remove or add that um, you can clearly be seen as an ambassador for Christ? All right, let's go to page nine. Something very exciting oh, happens. Oh, it is, this it is, week. it is. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It is, and I tell you what, I gotta, right. I gotta get my backpack out because yep. in here I've got some things. we are got to start planning for a party, Nick, and I gotta tell you, we, I've, we've got the, the coconut dark chocolate yeah, coated well, whatever it is yep. and I've got the drink so yep. we're, we're set here for a party and this is going to be great. It's going to be great. It's called the Matthews party. Now later on in manual three, I think it's about th week three or four, um, you organize a Matthews party Cheers. and you can Good start idea. right now in fact. But this is where you invite your friends from your street or your neighborhood to come or your over workplace. or your workplace That's it. to come to your house and get to know a little bit more about you. Um, and your faith, perhaps. It's called the Matthew's Party. Now, let's break it down. When, sure. when Matthew got the call from Jesus, mm -hmm. one of the first things Scripture tells us after following Jesus that he did was he had a, a party at his place and invited all the tax collectors and sinners to be there with him. Yep. And all it was was hanging out at Matthew's place, having a, few, um, a meal, and in the presence of Jesus. That is awesome. So there's no yeah. pressure for this party. It's just no. like, it's just come together and have a barbecue. Hey, and it's doable. We've tried this, so don't be shy. And if you're a little shy and you don't feel comfortable knocking on the doors and asking your neighbors to come over, etc., cetera, I mean, bring someone with you in your small group. Like do it as a team. Hey, it's awesome. Get into it. 
So that's planning, and that's planning for the last week. So it's five weeks to go. Yeah. So we're just about need to wrap up now, Nick. Cool. So being an ambassador is about stepping up the next little bit and not being afraid to do that because remember, God gives us all that we need and equips us to be able to do that. Amen. All See right. you next week.